We have some breaking news coming into our newsroom. A six-year-old is in custody after a shooting at an elementary school in Newport News, Virginia. This happened at Rich Neck Elementary about an hour north of Norfolk around two this afternoon. This child shot a teacher. That teacher was taken to a nearby hospital for life-threatening injuries. No students were injured, but again, a six-year-old taken into custody after a shooting at an elementary school in Newport News, Virginia. We're going to have much more uh, coming up in the next few hours. Wow. Um, honestly, I, I don't know how to even start this video. I don't know what to say, but I'll try my best to uh, make my way through this. Because just when you thought that you've heard or seen the craziest news that you could possibly see in this country, it, it, it seems like it just it just gets worse. OK, as as you saw there at the beginning of this video, um, there was a six year old uh, first grader at an elementary school in Newport News, Virginia, that went into class and shot his teacher in the abdomen. Now, the student has not been identified as far as what I've read or I can discover, but the teacher has been identified. It is 30-year-old Abigail Zawarner, who is a first grade teacher at Rich Neck Elementary School, and she was rushed to Riverside Regional uh, Medical Center with life-threatening injuries following the incident. Now, from what I've read, it looks like that she's going to make it, thank God. Um, but, again, it's just one of those things where you, like, how in the world does incidents like this happen in this country where you have six-year-olds obtaining a gun, not only obtaining a gun, but taking it to school and shooting a teacher, intentionally shooting a teacher. I mean, this is so bad that authorities and legal experts uh, don't know if there's any actual punishment for this. Like, there's no precedent for this because this is something that we haven't really seen before. Or put it this way, it's so rare that, again, we, we don't even have laws to address situations like this when they happen. So without further ado, I'm actually going to play uh, some clips here, one from CNN and another local clip It'll give you guys a better understanding of what happened here uh, and also kind of a legal explanation for what could possibly happen to the six-year-old uh, and or the parents. Take a look. A police investigation is underway after a six-year-old boy shot a female teacher yesterday in an elementary school classroom in Newport News, Virginia. According to the authorities, the student and teacher were in an altercation when the six-year-old student who had the gun fired a single shot hitting her. They say this was not an accidental shooting. Yeah, the teacher was immediately rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries, but officials say she has improved since she was admitted. CNN's Gloria Pasmino joining us now. Gloria, uh, this is uh, simply shocking. What more do we know about what led up to this incident? That's right, Amara. Alex, a shocking, disturbing news out of Newport News, Virginia. This happened shortly after 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon while school was still in session. Police tell us, as you said, that this was uh, during uh, an altercation between this female teacher and her student, a six-year-old. That means this was a class of first graders. That six-year-old pulled out a gun and fired a shot into that teacher. The teacher immediately rushed to the hospital, as you said, with life-threatening injuries. And at that moment, the school also began uh, lockdown procedures to make sure that no other students or staff was put in danger. Police also explaining yesterday that this shooting was contained to that one classroom and that uh, at no moment were other students at risk um, during after this shooting. Police say the teacher that was shot at Rich Neck Elementary by a first grader is now in stable condition. However, there are still many questions about what will happen next to the six year old that pulled the trigger. We cannot hear you. Chaos as parents looked for their kids at Rich Neck Elementary School in Newport News Friday after a first grader shot a teacher with a handgun there during the school day. 
Police say the teacher is showing positive signs after sustaining life-threatening injuries. That first grader, a six-year-old boy said to have shot her intentionally, is now in custody. It's really shocking. You just don't see this happen in the legal system where you've got someone so young intentionally using a firearm against another person. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone says what happens next for the child is unknown. Per Virginia law, he cannot be tried as an adult, and he'd be too young to go into a detention center if found guilty in court. And finding guilt in a six-year-old is a heavy burden for prosecutors to bear. When you're talking about a six-year-old, you've got a very, very undeveloped mind, and it's a, it's a difficult thing for um, the criminal system to give any um, sort of accountability to a six-year-old mind. Police have not shared where the gun came from or how the six-year-old got a hold of it. The child could be removed from the home by social services, and the caretakers could be held legally responsible but the worst criminal charge they could face is a misdemeanor. The parents could be charged with a misdemeanor, which you know would be a maximum of 12 months in jail, and, and realistically, it's very fact-dependent. Stone says still, Virginia's laws that could hold them accountable, and not the six-year-old, may be hard to apply. It requires that um, you, you negligently allow access to a firearm and the child hurts someone under the age of 14. So that specific statute probably wouldn't even apply in this situation. So you would have to rely on a more general statute like contributing to the delinquency or neglect of a minor, um, which sometimes can be more difficult to prove. Now our CBS 6 legal analyst says the General Assembly could do something to tighten up Virginia law to prevent something like this from happening, but we'll have to wait and see if that will be introduced when they assemble later this month. I'm Elizabeth Holmes for CBS 6 News. Yeah, so again, like I told you guys before that clip, this is so unprecedented that they don't even know if they can punish the parents or the child for this. I mean, I, I think it's hard to imagine punishing a six-year-old, right, even though they did basically attempt to kill their teacher. Um, The child is six. Um, you know, he's super young and we really don't know exactly what was going through his head or the motivations. We don't know anything. Right. So, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where it's just really hard to say. I mean, I think at the very least, yes, the, the child has to be taken away from the parent and going to child protective services. I think that's at the very least what should happen. Now, again, the, the left, um, they're going to quick to, to blame guns. They're going to say, see, see. Even six-year-olds can get access to guns. This is why we need to take them all away, right? That's always going to be the angle, to blame guns instead of blaming the obvious people at fault here, which are the parents. Now, again, I'm not going to say and speculate because I don't know, but I, I would think that there's probably more going on here in regards to the relationship between this student and that teacher, right? Uh, the relationship had to been very, very, very rocky for a six-year-old to feel the need to try to kill his teacher. But again, I'm not going to speculate too much on that because I, I honestly don't know. But again, what I do know is that this only happens in a society where uh, you have irresponsible parents who have not instilled the correct morals, values, and discipline into a child at a young age and who also are just simply irresponsible with firearms they're just leaving firearms around just for a six-year-old to grab put in his book bag and to go to school i mean not just a, fire, a firearm laying around but a, a loaded one right because again you have to think that you know it was already loaded okay or who knows i mean maybe they taught the kid how to load it i have no clue right i, I don't have much information on this kid's background what he looks like where he's from parents we don't know any of that stuff um, but again, what I do know is that in order for a child to do something like this, uh, there has to be a, a very, very, very messed up situation going on at the house, at the home. And I think that parents should be held responsible for it. No doubt in my mind, they should be held responsible because this should never happen, never happen. And I think this is a perfect time, even though this is a rare situation for uh, the local officials to at the very least, try to tighten up the, the, the laws. And I, I think, honestly, it should be a felony. It should be a felony for a parent to allow their child access to a firearm and then that child goes and commits some type of violent act. Now, I'm not saying it should be a felony for a parent to allow their child to shoot a firearm. Like, for example, I know there are some parents 
that, you know, do take their kids, you know, as teenagers or whatever out, you know, to shoot or whatever. And, you know, I, I, I respect that. Right. But I, I, I think that um, it is uh, the responsibility of the parent to keep firearms out of the hands of children when the parent is not around. OK. Um, and I think that, again, if, if a kid takes that firearm and goes and shoots another student or another teacher or whoever, then the parent has to be held responsible. OK. And I think it should be a felony. All right? I don't think it should just be a misdemeanor. I think it should be a felony because there has to be so many things that goes wrong for it to end up in a situation like this, right? I can imagine that this kid is probably from a broken home. Um, Newport News, uh, not necessarily the greatest place to be, right? If any of you guys have been in Newport News, uh, don't have too many great things to say, okay? Pro used to be uh, pretty decent back in the day, <laughs> probably before I was born. But nowadays, it's just the hood, right? So it's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm not even surprised, low key, not surprised, surprised, but not surprised at the same time, considering uh, where this happened. Um, but, you know, anybody trying to blame guns or trying to deflect and say, oh, you know, this is, you know, why we need stricter gun laws. Again, they are missing, um, you know, pointing at the real problem here, right? Calling out the real issue, which is the parents that allow this type of stuff to happen okay um and, and this is why i'm not on the train that some conservatives are on and i know it's a lot more nuanced of a conversation i'm making out to be when it comes to uh people having kids right there's some conservatives that are advocating for everybody to get married and have kids right everybody needs to have kids and i'm like nah i don't think everybody should have kids okay and, and stories like this is one of the reasons why it's because not every parent is a responsible parent i actually do believe in uh, people waiting until they have enough life experience, uh, financial stability, maturity, discipline to their older, right. <laughs> to actually bring kids into this world because some parents, again, just should not be parents. There are people in this world that just should not be having kids. Okay. And I, that's why I don't believe in encouraging people to do that. Um, because I think that one of the biggest problems in our country is that we have a whole bunch of parents having kids that should not be having kids. I mean, I actually think that is the number one problem, right? It is irresponsible parents uh, having children. Um, and, you know, again, this is just another example of that. So, you know, it, it's a shame that only a misdemeanor can be bought against the parents. And even then, it's sketchy whether or not it will actually stick. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure if anything should be done to the six-year-old. I mean, what can you do to a six-year-old uh, legally and morally, right? Again, imagine being a prosecutor in that case you know, and you trying to, you know, find a six-year-old guilty. I mean, again, it has to be very gut-wrenching and a very morally, like, questionable process. Um, I just don't know also how a six-year-old recovers from this after shooting a teacher. I mean, this six-year-old, in my opinion, seems to be messed up in the head, right? What do you do with a six-year-old who's already so messed up in the head they're willing to try to kill a teacher? Not sure, again, what you do with a child like that. Um, and it's a very sad situation, but again, the blame goes squarely, solely on the shoulders of the parents and no one else. Uh, they have to take responsibility for this. And uh, it'll be interesting to find out more details about why this happened, how this child got access to the gun, the motivations for trying to kill his teacher, uh, and so on and so forth. But until then, uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.